I'm Rachel Greninger, and tonight we're at the premiere of Keanu starring Key and Peel. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming back around. Yeah, no problem. You were just yeah, fawning all over you, Peter. Yeah, yeah. So when you were reading over the script, what was one of, did you have any right off the bat ideas of what you definitely wanted to do? I knew I wanted to make it very grounded. You know, this is an idea that if you treat it too much like just a silly farce, it becomes ridiculous. And you have to really believe that this world is kind of scary and dangerous and these guys are under threat. So I knew I wanted to treat that part like a, like a crime thriller more than a comedy. So, I mean, working with, I mean, the cast as well as like the insane amount of cats that you guys had. I heard seven. I also heard way more than that. Do you know a ballpark of how many Keanu's you used? It was seven. It was seven. Yeah. So you heard whoever told you seven was the truth. I know something about something. Yeah. Yeah. You got the inside scoop. So the cats that were the seven Keanu's, do they have homes? Did the cast take them home or what happened? Um, uh, Tiffany took one of them. Had it? Yeah. She, she named it Catatonic, which is like the best name ever. Uh, some of our crew took the other ones, and then about four of them stayed as a unit with our trainer because now they're such good actors that he's going to use them in commercials and other movies, and they're going to be working forever. They're going to be big stars. Now, when when you're thinking about a movie where you're going to be using an animal as one of the main characters, what do you have to kind of think outside the box about that you wouldn't normally have to think about if you're just inter you're just working with actors? Um, you have to be very specific about what you're going to see and what you want that cat to do because there is a lot of precision involved with making sure the cat is in the right place. So you just have to do a little bit of extra planning about the visual side of it. Is there uh, any talk of potentially doing a number two? I mean, K2 might already be in the works. It could be coming soon. Yeah. Could be. You don't know. It's kind of great. I mean, LA, things change. Who knows? May have been a top secret suitcase delivered to the studio with a script, potentially. Metallic and colored, maybe. Maybe there was a handcuff involved to a burly security guard. Well, you have to. No, you have to. You got. If to. if if hypothetically that was happening, you have to include the handcuff. It's happening. If there were a plan for a whole Keanu cinematic universe. Yep. Now, if you were going to remake Keanu and you had to pick a different animal, what animal would you make the lead? First of all, that, that question is sacrilegious. Because Sorry. There's no other animal that could ever play Keanu. Okay. But if I had to, I will be honest, I've always wanted to make a bunny movie. I have a bunny. I love bunnies. I love bunnies. I had a bunny. They're the best when they're not like psychotic things or chewing things that they shouldn't. But otherwise, bunnies, a bunny movie would be pretty great. You know what? I, uh, I like Keanu the way it is, but I would like to see also a bunny movie. Maybe we'll introduce some new species into K2 or K3. Ooh, you have to go see the movie to know, though. No, you have to find out. <laughs> Thanks so much. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what animal you would sub if you were in Keanu.